This guy in this video is wrong. Measurably, objectively wrong. Here are the data that supports that statement. I'll get back to him in a minute, but here's where this came from. And no, I didn't start this to be some kind of hit piece on technology connections. I really like a lot of his videos. I needed an AC and I am not rich enough for portable. They are really a lot more expensive here and I have some strange restrictions I have to work around. So I got a cheap window unit and I put it on a cart that I built from two by fours. Bonk. Where I live and work in condos, you need special permission from the condo board if you're going to install an air conditioner, be it a mini split or even just a window unit. If it affects the look of the exterior of the building, condo boards can come after you. And depending on the condo bylaws, they can fine you and it doesn't have to be a limited amount. So if you have an awful uppity board, they can level thousands of dollars per day in fines if they want to. They can even take steps to remedy the situation that they're not happy with by hiring contractors to go into your unit and remove said AC and then bill that back to you. Condos here can really suck. But I knew I had some crazy hot weather coming and I still wanted to be able to do the work I needed to do at something resembling reasonable temperatures. It's not fun building kitchens in 90F 32C weather. So I did what I've done in the past that I knew had worked before. I went and got an inexpensive, relatively, window unit and built a cart for it. That way it's not installed so the condo board can't at me for that. I also got some PETG clear plastic and built a fake window to sit it in, meaning I'm not really changing the look of the exterior by using some corrugated plastic, cardboard, or plywood to cover up the rest of the patio opening. I threw a funnel and a bucket underneath and called it workable. Ta-da! And of course, I did all this on stream. While I was streaming, everyone and their dogs, gotta love dogs, came out to tell me what a terrible idea it was and how it would kill the efficiency because I was using air from the room to exhaust. I heard things like negative pressure and vacuum, so I knew where these ideas were coming from. So I decided to science it up and science requires hypothesis is hypotheses. I was going to run tests on pairs of days where the weather would be similar enough between the one hose portable version where it was just pulling air from inside the room to exhaust and the two hose portable version where I used some shrouds to pull air from outside to then use as exhaust. I recorded exterior and interior temperature as well as humidity every hour. On the last three days, I added wattage recording and a version where it was more like a proper window installation. But since Twitch chat wanted to tell me how wrong I was, I told them to join in the science with me and give me their guesses. I had people saying the one hose version would be between 11 and 30% less efficient than the two hose version because I was using air from inside the room to exhaust. This guy even had the gall to say, Moose will sweat. Well, joke's on him. Moose always sweats. Well, here again are my results. The short answer is a one hose version like I originally built is no worse at cooling and uses no more power than the proper window installation. While the two hose version cooled much better, two to three degrees better. That's the difference between 27 and 24 C indoors. While also using more power, I probably should have used bigger shrouds. In conclusion, if you need AC on a budget, this is certainly a functional way to do it. So where did TechCon get it wrong? Within the first 30 seconds of his video, he asks, Do these cold making machines have what it takes to usurp the traditional window units? And immediately answers, No. He does a pretty good explanation on how air conditioners work, and it's worth a watch. Where he starts to get it wrong is around the seven minute mark. The first particularly problematic statement is when he says, And that means that outside air is going to make its way in through the walls to replenish the air that just left. I don't know about you, but the last time I tried to move air through a wall, it didn't work very well. Where the air does get made up is from other rooms in the house through gaps in doors. Worst case scenario, if you didn't seal your exhaust port in the window very well, some air might come back in through there. But it doesn't just come in through the wall. It continues saying, And what replaces it is ultimately the hot outside air that you're fighting against. Which isn't true if you're pulling air from other rooms in the house. 
It might not be as cool as you want the air to be, but it's definitely not the outside hot air. Then we get to his conclusion around 7 minutes 40 seconds. Single hose portable air conditioners will always be significantly less efficient than a window unit. Well, my data show very clearly otherwise. In fact, my data show that my portable air conditioner was almost exactly as effective and as efficient as having the unit installed properly. The problem is he attributes the difference in BTU rating between ASHRAE and SAC testing to the hose. Newer testing methods are accounting for the losses brought about by this hose. But that's not the case. Both standards test the unit with the hose. ASHRAE tests it to a very specific ADF 50% relative humidity. SAC takes into account the variations in temperature and humidity that you're likely to encounter throughout the cooling season. But they both test the entire unit. ASHRAE does not test without the hose. I haven't been able to find out why window units aren't also required to have both ASHRAE and SAC testing done, as a window unit's SAC rating would also be lower than its ASHRAE rating. The part he does get right is the noise. Window units properly installed do move that noise outside. And he likely gets that part right because he's actually doing observations instead of just reading manufacturer specs. Again, this is not a hit piece. If anything, it's a testament to the scientific process. I had a bunch of people telling me something wouldn't work because some authority told them so. I designed an experiment, controlled the variables reasonably as best I could, made a hypothesis, recorded my data, and now I'm sharing my results. That's all it takes to do science. You don't need a lab coat, you don't need a degree, and you don't need any sort of official permission. You do need to be willing to be wrong. So if you think I've done something definitely, clearly, and most important, demonstrably wrong, I want to hear about it. And ideally, I want to see it. Make a video with your experiments that show me where I'm wrong and at me with it. Final shower thoughts that came to me when I finished writing this originally, then why do portable AC come with generally lower BTU rating compared to window units even at a higher cost? I think there are three things that explain this. First, size. This portable unit rated for 12,000 BTU has a 17 by 14 inch footprint with a 6 inch diameter hose. This window unit, same manufacturer, rated for 14,500 BTU has a 21 by 19 inch footprint with an exhaust area of 19 by 14 inches. The exhaust on the window unit is just shy of 10 times larger than the portable unit. So even if they did have equal ASHRAE BTU ratings, I'm super scruffy and overexposed. What I meant to say was even if the two units did have equal cooling components internally so that they would have a theoretically equal BTU calculation, they would not still test the same. This is probably the same thing that Technology Connections got wrong in his original video. The ASHRAE ratings are not calculations. They're actual tests. I just slipped because I'm sometimes bad at writing stuff. So even if they did have equal ASHRAE BTU ratings, the portable unit just can't move the same volume of air that the window unit can. If you can't move as much hot air out, you just can't cool as well. The air movement issue also brings me to the second point as to why portables are probably less effective for the cost. While the total volume of both units is fairly similar, the portable has two additional disadvantages. First, it has to have somewhere to collect the condensate so it loses some cooling volume there. I can just throw a bucket under this thing or let it drip outside if it's properly installed. And second, the airflow pathway, because it's stuffed into a decorative plastic housing, is much more constricted even before it reaches the hose. The third reason why portables cost more has probably two parts. First of third, getting things to fit snugly into a decorative case and even making the decorative case costs more. The tolerances are tighter and one big smooth piece of plastic on the front that looks pretty can't be a cheap piece to produce. Second of third is simple economics. Portables are easy to use, don't have to be installed, not really, are less commitment, can be rolled away when not in use or in the winter, can be taken with you to the cottage or on your glamping trip, all of which go toward a better customer experience. 
and that means you can charge more. There's definitely a, we can charge more, so we do, on portables. All of these factors are rendered moot by my window unit on a rolling cart, except this cart's not rolling, but the one in the other video does. It's got the same intake volume, it's got the same cooling volume, same exhaust volume, and essentially the same airflow path. I think that explains why its window configuration doesn't do any better than its one hose configuration. The only thing I could come up with as to why the two hose version is more efficient at cooling is because as the air is drawn in through the baffles, it gets cooled down a little bit by the cooler air in the room and that helps to cool the condenser more efficiently. But if that was the case, then the one hose version should be much more effective because it's always using cooler air. So if anyone has an idea why the two hose version, this ugly monstrosity actually works better, please let me know.